Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to my channel. So this video is all about how I deep clean my brushes and beauty blenders and how I also spot clean my brushes in between clients. So if you'd like to know how I do it all, then just keep on watching. So first you're going to need some baby shampoo, a type of oil. I prefer to use coconut oil, but you can use whatever you like. Um, some rubbing alcohol to kill some jams. And just a little brush cleaner. I actually picked this one up from Kmart. It was like $3. It's great. It does the job. And of course, some dirty brushes. So what I like to do, I just get a little bit of coconut oil, some of the baby shampoo and the alcohol, and I just mix it all together. And yep, there's the dirty brush, how embarrassing. So I just like to soak the brush a little bit, dab it in, and then just swish, 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 swish on the brush cleaner. And you honestly just keep going until they're clean. That is, it's as simple as that. I also just give it a little bit of a squeeze, not too hard because you might pull some of the hairs out. And look at that, absolutely stunning. And yeah, I pretty much do the same thing for each of my brushes. So just, wow, what am I even saying? Soak it a little bit, put a little bit of soap on it. Scrub, 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 scrub. And then you just rinse it off. And if it needs doing again, I mean repeat it obviously until it's clean and then yeah that's all you have to do Oh, I'm going to show you how to get your beauty blenders from this to this. Isn't that amazing? So I actually use the actual beauty blender cleanser that you can purchase. You can get them wherever you buy your beauty blenders from. I get mine from Sephora or I use the actual, um, there's a bar of soap that you can get as well. They work both perfectly as fine as each other. Um, yeah, so I just soak the beauty blenders and I just lather them in soap and just massage it all in until um, I think it's ready to be rinsed. Rinse it all out and then if I feel like it needs to be repeated then I'm just gonna do it until it's clean. And yeah, that's pretty much it, it's really simple. Um, if you can't purchase the actual cleanser, you can just use the baby shampoo and a bit of alcohol and it'll work perfectly fine. That's what I used to use until I wasn't as poor. But yeah, if you can get your hands on the Beauty Blender cleanser, I highly recommend it. Now to dry the brushes, I have this little doohickey thing from eBay, it was like $9 and it's just great, like you just stick them in and you should always hang your brushes upside down so that the water actually um, drips away from the glue. Um, if not, you can always use the good old rubber band trick, so you just slip it over the brush onto a towel rack or something like a towel rack, just hang them upside down and leave them overnight and they'll dry perfectly. So when I spot clean my um, brushes between clients, I just get some paper towel, um, just a little bottle I got from a $2 shop and actually Scotty's brush cleaner. It is the best thing ever. I would highly recommend buying it. I'll leave the link down um, below for that one. And I literally just spray the brush and swirl it around, swirl it for a little bit and it's literally as quick as that. It's just done. Just like that. Like, what more would you want in life? Like. Come on guys. Yeah, and that's pretty much the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it helps some of you out. Um, it's a really cheap, simple way to clean your brushes because as much as it sucks, it needs to be done. But yeah, 
If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you. Bye.